So, as I film this video, Notion have just simplified our workflows no end by adding the synced block to the system. In this video, I'll show you exactly what a synced block is, three great ways that you can start using them right now, and exactly how I've upgraded and smoothed out the interface of my Notion productivity system using a synced block. Ooh, it's like silk on ice. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, this is a short but incredibly useful little video for Notion users. If you are, for example, a user of my LifeOS template that you can download, or maybe you're following along to all those Notion build videos, or just a fan of Notion, I'm going to share today these synced block solutions. I think it's a brilliant way to upgrade and improve your system. It reduces the clicks you have to take in order to get things done. But first, to those of you that are new here, hello, hello, I'm Simon. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos on building this productivity system in Notion. And please consider subscribing for more on productivity, minimalism, simplifying creative life. Let's do it. Let's get synced. Oh, Ricky Gervais. Do you remember that? Ricky Gervais, The Office? Oh, it's too much. So what is a synced block? Well, it's a very simple idea and it's pretty much what it sounds. We put forward slash synced block into Notion, anywhere on a page, open it up and anything you put into that block could then be copied as a block, pasted somewhere else and those two instances will stay the same. They'll stay synced. You could do that infinitely across your system. And what that means is we can now very easily and effectively create uh, navigation bars, menus, but also think about how we can kind of keep knowledge that we're capturing synced and then bring it into things like writing projects. Perhaps they are linked into it as pieces of research. So first of all, let's make ourselves a menu. So here you can see what I've done on my home screen. This is the home screen of my dashboard. This is my existing menu here, but it's also the actual item. So that is actually the journal, actually the notebook. You can see you go straight into the page. One approach to this would be to take all of these items put them into something like this, system, where I keep some of the things I don't need to look at, and then just have this menu bar across the top. It completely streamlines it. Uh, and it's essentially the matching icons to the pages laid out within a synced block. And you can see, if I click on it, that red line defines it as a synced block. But most importantly, if I click, for example, to notebooks, you'll also see that exact copy on that same page because I've pasted it in there. If we go back home, really simple to create this. I'm gonna do forward slash, and then sync, and then you see it synced block. I'm gonna do forward slash emoji, pick an emoji. I'm gonna just do a, a home link as an example. Drag um, and select it, click link, find the page you want it to link to. There it is, simple as that. Then all we need to do is hover over the bar, click on it, you'll see copy and sync. Click on copy and sync. So then for example, if I go to content creation, paste it, I'm gonna do command V. That is how easy it is to create a menu bar. Brilliant. You could do this as footers or headers for websites, but I really like this simple emoji-based uh, way of approaching um, a navigation menu. Surprisingly, I find it's quicker for me to find it than the text. The other great thing about this, if we go to notebooks, if I go into, say, for example, a template, so there's a new note template, click on the dots, click on edit, I could, for example, put it in here. And it means then that I have an ability to leap from every note. Let me know in the comments below what other solutions you can think of for using synced blocks to uh, make the most out of this Notion system. Now, one of the things that I have here, as you'll see in my um, main page, is this task inbox. It's where I put everything that comes to mind that it needs to get done, and it gets filtered into projects. The other thing that I tend to do on a daily basis is, is journal, do a quick daily journal entry. What I have in, in this daily reflection is there any other tasks to add? And I just have um, a database view. So every time I generate this, it's gonna generate a new database view. It's gonna create that every single time. So what I'm actually gonna do here is delete this and I'm gonna put in a synced block here. So we're gonna go back to home and create a synced block. So I just drag over what I wanna put into the block, take it, drop it into the block, that is now in a synced block. Really easy, same thing, copy and sync, but I need to make sure that I go to the template within the journal. I will click onto the reflection, edit, and then in here with tasks to add, I can simply control V again, paste it in, and there you go, I have a block 
uh, which will echo whatever's happening on the main page. It will always turn up every time I duplicate and I'm able to update things. In a recent video on uh, syncing Google Calendar, I also did scheduled for today. So this is a view of things that are scheduled within the calendar. I could do exactly the same with this, take all of this, place it within that daily uh, view in the journal. And then I'm not just creating loads and loads of database views uh, that take up you know, a lot of space and mean things load more slowly. The sync blocks seem to make that a lot smoother. Right, let's look next at how sync blocks can help us with our writing, our creation, our referencing of knowledge within a kind of second brain system like this. It's great for people who might be writing essays, studying, maybe you're a content creator. It's subtle but brilliant. So if I go into my uh, knowledge bank, this is where I collect things that have resonated with me, you know, things that I've read, watched, listened to, all of that. Now you can see here that what I do currently, let's look at these journaling prompts. Uh, various things about journaling. Um, that's linked to a, a video that I made about the guide, a guide to daily journaling, another part of this template we've looked at. And you'll see in, in my template for creating it, what I have here is essentially intro, so on and so forth, and then the content. And I'm quoting from articles, which I've kind of linked. Now what I was doing before was copying them and then moving them across from the knowledge uh, bank. It's the same kind of thing, but it's gonna do something slightly differently. Let me show you what I mean. If we go back to the journaling, um, uh, article like this daily stoic article here which I thought was rather good um, all the stuff has kind of been uh, captured using the web clipper uh, now what I could do is if there's a specific thing like I go oh, actually like all of that for example like to put this quote into the video I can just click on it and click turn it into a synced block copy and sync now if I now go across to the video and here we just paste that in I can just by now clicking on this very quickly look on this link and see where it is and go and look at it a short link to wherever it is so what it means is that quotations have references perhaps the biggest benefit of do using this is that red box turns up and it allows me quickly and simply to be able to uh, see it in context where it's come from so if I'm like oh that quote doesn't seem like it's quite enough I can just simply go let's go and look at its source oh it's there great we actually need to add all of that. And then what I can easily do, for example, is just drop that into the synced block on this one, go back to the other uh, document, and we'll see it immediately uh, turns back up in that document. If you were using this, say, with notes, we could be doing exactly the same thing. Under um, uh, my notebooks for creative work, there might be specific things that I'm working on in here that I can then uh, be linking into projects um, later on it's gonna transform the way that I create content and write. Uh, have a go, try it out. Make sure to hit that like button if you're finding this valuable. And coming up on the channel, I'm working on some new additions to this life management system, including, you've been asking for it, financial trackers, budgeting, study notes, and some more API integrations. Happy days. Uh, that's all to come, but that is it for the video. It would be wicked if you left some comments. It would be amazing if you subscribed if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.